The Akiti State Gubernatorial Election took place on the 18th of June 2022. The election saw the Secretary to the State Government, Abiodu Yebanji, declared winner of the election, with Social Democratic Party coming next as the first runner up. Vote buying has become a trend in Nigerian elections, with many discouraged by its slow but steady growth. It is what the SDP is claiming characterized the AKT elections. It is preparing to go to court to challenge the outcome of the election. The process was faulty. And I said the legal team are working on it. The legal team naturally goes to court. We are, we are, we are taking the case to court. That is the final arbiter of everybody. Once there is injustice, the natural thing to do as law-abiding citizens is to go to court in the overall interest of the country. We are not taking law into our own hands. If we were to take law into our hands, we would have said people of Ekiti to come out and, and protest on it. But we know eventually that will lead to some casualties. This goes further than just selling of votes. Somebody is out to promote the religion of vote buying, and there must be a reason for it. Either vote buying as a decoy or vote buying as a legal tender. Whichever way it is, it is dangerous for the future. This is the harvest of suspected criminals by the Undo State Security Agency, otherwise known as the Amortekun Corps. In all, 71 persons arrested from different areas in the state were paraded before journalists in Akure. This gave the commander of the corps, Adetunji Adele, the opportunity to give update on the June 5 attack on St. Francis Catholic Church or war. The cheering news from the Amotecon commander is that some suspects have been arrested in connection with the attack. Although the perpetrators were not among those paraded, the commander said the last vehicle used by the attackers has been recovered. He also did not give the actual figure of the suspects arrested by his men. Like I told you, we have recovered the last vehicle they used for that operation and we've made some arrests and we've also recovered some vital things a number of people have been arrested concerning the war issue a number of people a number of equipment and i've told you for free the last vehicle they used before they jumped into the bush we pursued them to that point, and we are still pursuing them. We'll get to the root of it. Among the 71 suspects paraded were 17 persons who specialized in snatching of motorcycles, popularly known as Okada. Three cattle rustlers who stole cows from Iceman were also paraded by the command. 11 suspected courtes were arrested in the Indore area of the state. His return home after emerging as the PDP vice presidential candidate is greeted with cheers from people from all walks of life who trooped out to welcome the Ikabon politician who has won all elections he contested and now is winning the hearts of Nigerians. From the airport, Governor Okoa headed to the venue of the reception in his honor as residents, including school children at some strategic junctions, cheered him. His entrance into the venue in the motorcade in the company of his wife and deputy governor stimulates the crowd here as commendations for his emergence as vice presidential candidate continue. If Okoa is there with the president, Nigerian students we go to school. Our school will not be on strike. This is your destiny and nobody can change it. You have made us proud. We are very proud of him. When he was chosen by Atitu Abubakar, who was my boss in those days uh, in government, I knew that he would pick a person as an Abubakar candidate. We are here in solidarity with one of our own, right Honorable Dr. Ifayo Kowa. Is one of us. Is an son 
for the man of the moment beyond the celebration is the tax of rescuing a country which he believes the opposition party with his visionary presidential candidate is ready to carry out.